Hello everyone, this is Andy from RetroAsylum.com and today I'll be playing a Chips Challenge on the ZX Spectrum. Now Chips Challenge first came out on the Atari Lynx and then got ported over to loads of other machines like the Commodore Amiga, the C64, the ZX Spectrum which is the version I'm playing and it even came out on DOS and a bunch of other machines as well. Now this game was programmed by uh, Chuck Summerfield and if you listen to the music, it's done by Dave Whittaker, which is absolutely fantastic. Now the whole premise of this game is basically you play this character Chip, and you have a crush on this girl called Melinda, and you want to get into her computer club because you, you know, you want to sort of like maybe go out of her. So she sets you out a series of challenges, which is slightly unfair really, just to get into a computer club, and because she knows that you have a crush on her. But poor old Chip, you know, he decides that he needs to impress her, so that's what he's going to do. Now, I'm not here to sort of like tell you the inside and outs of this game. I'm just here basically just to point out that this is a fun game and I'm here just to sort of like just bring a bit of nostalgic value here. So, I may erm, um, I may ah, uh, this is all completely ad libs. But here we go, let's go to this game here. Now, the whole premise of it, you've got to collect all these little keys. Red keys allow you to go into red doors, yellow keys allow you to go into yellow doors. Sounds simple, the first level is, but after a few levels the game really does become tough. Now I really enjoy this game, I, I used to have the demo of this game back in the day, and that eventually convinced me to get the full price game. And the full price game was pretty interesting, I liked the artwork on the uh, packaging itself. Uh, you know, it was really nicely drawn. It had chip, and you know, it just it really seemed like so much was going on in this world. So yeah, that's the last one there, and then once I've done that, I can go through the exit. Again, nice simple premise to this game, nice and easy, and that's why I think it works so well for the Atari Lynx. Um, that's one of the games that I really hope I'll get on eBay at some point soon. Maybe I'll get it on a car boot sale? Hopefully I will, because I should be able to get it cheaper. You know, it's car boot uh, season again, so me and the Retro Asylum team, we're always out hunting for uh, retro games. And we're not really sort of like hunting to sell them or anything like that. It's just basically, it's just nice if you see a game, something out there to try and get. Because I managed to get myself an Atari Lynx. Oops, I'm dead. Um, once in a car boot sale, think for under a pound, which is pretty impressive. Now, another reason why I'm doing this game is because for the upcoming podcast that we've got coming this Friday, which is episode 78, I interview Kieran, a.k.a. The Lid. And he specializes on Atari, that's what the thing he's known for. He's got um, a YouTube channel called The Laird's Lair, which I highly recommend you check it out. He tells you about, about Atari, you know, the differences between the handhelds. So he's really knowledgeable. Kieran also uh, works with a guy called Zappy on a website called RVG, which stands for Retro Video Gamer. He also wrote an amazing book, which is called Homebrew Heroes. And uh, yeah, he also writes for uh, Re no, Retro Gamer. So it's a really interesting interview that we've got coming up. And then during that podcast, which is out this Friday, we talked about um, the Atari Lynx. We talked about Chip's Challenge because it's one of my favorite games. And he highly recommended that I get the Atari Lynx version. So yeah, definitely check out the Retro Asylum podcast this Friday on iTunes and also on Podomatic. But again, this is where the game starts to get a little bit difficult, you know, you get certain things that allow you to uh, go on fire, you get like a magnet which lets you walk on this metallic um, conveyor belt thing. So there we go. Again, all the levels are very, very different, they've got a very similar theme, collect an object which lets you activate or lets you do a certain thing. Like here, you've got this little switch and that moves the tanks up and down. Um, the first few levels are pretty easy really, but I think once you get to about level 5 or level 6, it starts to get a little bit tougher. Now if you guys have played Chips Challenge, please let me know what you think about it on the comments section. I've got some um, feedback from some of our uh, people here on uh, Facebook and on Twitter. We've got uh, Lawrence who said he spent way too much time playing this on the PC when he was meant to be doing some homework. Kieran, uh, who I'm interviewing this Friday, says one of the first Lynx games he ever bought. And then we've got Louie on Facebook who said it was an okay game with a bit of a challenge. 
I know that's a little bit of a joke there. And then we've got Darren, who runs an amazing website called ABC Start. Cool, you know, and he said he was addicted to this as a kid. Now, over on Twitter, I put out the same question, and we've got the Retro Wench, and she put it was the first C64 game that had her hooked, which wasn't a TV tie-in, and she played it again a few years later on Windows 95. Now, if you are a fan of this game, the creator, Chuck Summerfield, has come up with a newer version of this game on the iOS Steam called Chuck's Challenge. Alright guys, see you next time. Goodbye.